Hello, CFFs. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday? Hey, it's August 1st. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope your Monday was blessed and full of God's blessings. I am here today in with my prayerful planner. I love this cover. My prayerful planner and August. And I want to say happy planner day. Today is <clears throat> August 1st. Oh, excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. Hold on, let me take a sip of water. My Starbucks, you guys know I'm a Starbucks fan. So I have my Starbucks mug. One of them, I have a bunch of Starbucks mug. Okay. <clears throat> Today is National Planners Day, and I want to say Happy Planner Day to all the planners out there, those that love to plan and organize their day and just keep track of it. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day uh, today. Um, the video might be kind of long, but um, I'm going to be using Functionally Chic Orange Blooms from Live Love Posh, and then Crafty Planner from Live Love Posh, and Birthday Basics by Kel of a Plan, simply because tomorrow is my youngest granddaughter's birthday, and so <clears throat> she's away right now doing the internship, so I'm just so, so very proud of her. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And I'm planning a trip, so I will be leaving next week. I'm going to, um, well, I don't know, maybe I should say a girl's trip. Um, I'm going to go with my daughter to Texas, and we're going to drive back with my oldest baby. Um, she's coming home from college, so... I'm so excited about that. Very, very excited. Not excited about the drive, but <laughs> we have a couple of stops planned. So I'm excited about that to see some family members and um, just enjoy myself and just take our time and drive back. And um, hopefully I will get to share some of that trip with you guys. I will try and record you guys know when I when I leave home, I'm not a good recorder. I got to start being better at recording my trips and stuff. So um, I'm going to try to record as much as I can um, when we go. Um, you guys seen them on the cruise on their um, day. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, both of my girls were there and they were doing pages for... Uh, my uh, vacation planner, which I'm documenting all our vacations and things, and that will be going with me. So, um, yeah, wow, I, I have a few things to share with you guys. Um, I just got my, as you guys know, I've joined the cash stuffing uh, community. I don't record it. Um, I'm just don't. Uh, but I got my financial planner. I hadn't. This arrived today. I was so excited. I hadn't planned on um, doing this, but when I seen this planner, it had everything I needed, and it was so simply laid out, and I loved it because it was undated. It has monthly challenges in there. As you can see, I'm starting to work on August, doing my budget, and um, just getting things set up for that. So, yeah, um, this is Budget Bay uh, Planner, and I really love it. It has some challenges in there. You can save something. I'm really, really working on um, saving my emergency fund and just having you know being financially able to say if something comes up i can handle it and not 
feeling like I have to drain everything from my savings to do it. So I'm very happy about that. So I will put that website below if you would like to, or are you a budget planner? But we're going to work on August, National Planner Day. What a better thing to work on than working on your planner. So um, this is my prayerful planner. I want to lay it out for August. And I tell you, let me just say, let me... Let me take a drink. This is just water. Um, usually I have tea or some kind of Starbucks, but I went with water today. It's not quite as hot as it was yesterday. I think today's temperature here in the Central Valley only got to 91, I think, the highest I've seen it. Uh, 91 degrees or almost 91 degrees. So anyway, it's supposed to cool down a little bit this week and then um, next week it's supposed to start to climb again. So, but anyway, I am so excited. I didn't pull a scripture for today. Um, so I kind of wanted to just share a little bit about myself. Um, I know I don't say a lot of things about me per se um i just come in and start doing my planners um, i love this i finally get to use this and i want to use let me see here it is i'm in love with these florals i don't know why but they are gorgeous they're just gorgeous and i have to find a place I, I just want to outline the whole month with this. So let's get started. <clears throat> so when I come on, I never say, hi, this is Rose. But yeah, my name is Rose. And I am married. And let's see. Maybe I need to get this. I shouldn't have used this extracto knife. Um, I'm always doing something that's silly. Um, but my name is Rose. I am married. And my husband is a pastor. And I was um, raised in a home that is... Um, Pentecostal, or should I say, um, yeah, it's Pentecostal, but it was also um, Kojic. Um, some people know that's watching. They know exactly what Kojic is, but if you don't know, it is the Church of God in Christ. And that's what I was raised in, so that's... Um, I stayed with that. I did not leave that. Some of my brothers and sisters did not stay in it. They um, decided to go either Baptist or they went a different direction, Church of Christ. And But I stayed with Kojic and I'm happy and I'm not sure that one has anything in it, so let me use this. I am happy where I'm at, but I do believe in, um, I do believe, hold on guys, of course, my pen will not work. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I probably need to buy some more of these. But I was raised Pentecostal. Um, as I said, Church of God in Christ or Kojic. And I believe in being baptized. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe, or some people say the Holy Spirit, however you refer to it. Isn't that pretty? I'm sorry, I'm in love with this thing. 
<laughs> no, I said it before. Oh, but guys, oh my God, look how pretty that is. That is such a pretty orange. I love it. I'm loving it. Okay, so now I have to put something. As I said, I want to go around. So let me get this done so I don't keep you guys here forever. But um, yeah, I was uh, raised in um, Kojic, and so I'm still in Kojic. I love it. Uh, and I am married to a pastor who is also Kojic. And he has had some um, health problems lately. And so, you know, I, I have to say 2020 was not, um, that was not a good time for anyone. Let's just face it. It really wasn't. It wasn't a good time for anyone. And it changed the dynamics of the church. Um, how we have church, I should say. Um, but it should not change you. <laughs> Definitely should not change you. Um, you should always, I don't know, should I wipe this out? I put this down already and now I'm like, oh, I should have wiped it out. Well, let me try. But anyway, are you guys seeing this? Yeah. Um, 2020 changed a lot of things for a lot of people. And, uh, you know, it could be difficult, I'm, I'm sure. But uh, nevertheless, whatever we have, yeah, I'm going to have to do the whole thing. We have gone through, we still give God the glory, we give him the praise because he knew this was coming even when we didn't and he kept us. <laughs> praise God, he kept us. Uh, so we should never lose hope as the scripture says, we do not we, we are not as those that have no hope. We have a hope. And if you love the Lord and you are, you are giving him praise and giving him glory, trust me, you're not without hope. We have hope. And so we praise God for keeping us through all of that, through all of that, through all of 2020. Yeah, things changed a lot. And it's not what we thought it should be. But um, we say thank God for keeping us. Amen. We say thank God for keeping us. Thank God for keeping us safe. Um, I got sick, um, although they said it wasn't COVID, COVID, um, but I did get sick and I tell you, it was just no fun. And so 2020, 2021, it was kind of, I'm trying to find something to put on my granddaughter's birthday, her Day is tomorrow, Wednesday, and so I want to put something on her on the second. Let me see. I love the birthday basics. Um, I wish some of the things that I would like to use, I wish they were just a little bit smaller, but um. As I said, she's away doing an internship. Um, we are extremely proud of her and so happy that she got to experience. I think I want to put this. I want to put this here. Let me 
see. <laughs> she likes Starbucks too. And I must say she's my my biggest supporter. She's she watches all my videos. And my daughter, she she cracks me up. She says, you know, Mom, she turns the TV on and she puts you on. And I'm thinking you're in the house and it's her with you on the TV. And she's walking around the house doing stuff and um, having a good time with her YouTube on the TV. I want to put a balloon there. I'm going to use this heart balloon. What do you guys think? I'm going to put the balloon right there. She's walking around in the house with the um, TV on and me talking. And she's always, um, she's always giving me that big thumbs up and telling me how much she likes my video. Uh, let's see. That's going to cover a part of the balloon, but that's okay. For my birthday girl. Happy birthday. I can't believe the years have flown by so, so fast. I mean, so fast. It's like, okay, now she's off to college. She's coming home, but then she's going off to college. And man, it just... I don't know where the time goes. One minute they're sitting on your lap and you're goo goo gaga, and then they're wanting the. Hey guys, I'm sorry. My. I thought I was recording and it cut off on me. So here is where I'm at. So forgive the pause or the break in the video. It's really my fault. I'm sorry. I thought I was recording. <laughs> I really thought I was recording. But hey, it's National Planner Day. So um, I want to just share some things with you. This is a good time on this day to, as I work on my page here, if, um, let me push it up. If you haven't to go back over, it's August. So take a look at your planner and see if you met your goals that you set for yourself. If um, things are going the way you want them to go. I'm loving my orange. I really am. And I think my camera is going to die again. So I just want to share with you guys. Um, you know, take a look at your planner. This is a good time to go back and look to see if um, the goals that you're, you're, you set for yourself at the beginning of the year, have you met those goals? Do you need to readjust those goals? Um, take a look at them and see if you have everything that you need or you have planned out. Um, if you're not a planner user, today is a great day to say, let me try planning something. You don't have to go all out. You don't have to go buy 5, 10, 15 planners. Um, just buy a planner and plan out your day. Plan out household chores or plan out what you're going to do with the kids. Um, something like that. Um, a Good reason to use a planner is because it helps you stay organized. It keeps you organized. It keeps you on track. For me, it helps me stay on target because I'll start something and I'll get sidetracked on something else. But I like the fact I can come to my planner, whether it's my prayerful planner or my household planner, and I can check those things off and say, hey, you know what? I've, I've done those things. So I like that. Um, using a planner can reduce stress. It can reduce anxiety. Uh, but most importantly, it keeps you on track. It keeps you there. Um, just looking at my notes here. Um, 
it can really organize your day and keep you organized. Um, I already said take a look at your planner. Um, this is August 1st, National Planner Day. Take a look at your planner. Go back to the beginning. Go back to January. See if you're meeting all the goals that you've set for yourself. Maybe you can cross some goals out. Maybe you've completed some goals and you can cross those goals out. Maybe there are some things you might need to tweak a little bit and say, you know what, I need to readjust this and um, maybe um, reprioritize them or change it. Um, you never know. Um, but it's always good to plan your day. And that, you know, that's basically what I have to say. If, if you're not a planner user, try it. It, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Get a, a, a regular old notebook paper and a tablet and just sit down and write down some things you want to do and start checking them off. Um, like I said, you don't have to go buy hundreds of <laughs> five, six, seven different books. Just take one book and just sit down and start planning out your day. And hello, CFF. I had such a difficult time getting this page together. And it's my camera just kept dying. And so this is the completed page I wanted everyone to see and once again happy national planner day i love the orange <laughs> i loved it this is my finished product i'm going to continue working on my planner my camera is about to die but I will show you a picture of what I finished. So until next time, remember, find three good things in your day. Focus on that, something that puts a smile on your face, warmth in your heart, and joy in your soul. So until next time, bye-bye.